In the past, people thought that women are just meant for the kitchen. Women are just meant to stay at home. And women are just meant to do nothing apart from getting married, taking care of the kids, taking care of the husband. But I believe that right now, the narratives are changing and the narratives will change because the Lord has called us not only to be a wife, but also to fulfill purpose as a woman, as a person, and as God's child. So ladies and gentlemen, my royal, you're welcome to Queen Mother's Chamber. If it's your first time seeing me, I am Baj I am a Pusin Dikum, a mother, a wife, and a believer. I love working. I love anything faith, anything marriage. So if it's your first time seeing my face, of course, ensure to subscribe so that you're going to receive wonderful content here. And today I am not having just any kind of person on set i'm having an amazing lady i'm having an amazing woman she's not just a colleague she's not just a sister so today we're having a wonderful person but before I, I, I introduce her, for all those who have been returning with me, for all those who have been on this set since we have been having it, I thank you very much for the privilege and we are still going to be bringing you back for all my returning subscribers. I love you. You know that I do. So please sit there and we are going to be having a wonderful ride today. So in 2018, I met this wonderful lady at an organization, Luka Youth Corner Cameroon, and I saw her working. I saw how dedicated she was to her job, and I thought that she would not want to get married. Ah, but two years ago, she got married, and of course, she is a mother today. So it was just quite an amazing ride, seeing how now she balances between work, her home, her child, and church. Of course, when I met her, she was a hostess or an usher or a protocol at her church, Utopians. And of course, what I used to like about the particular church is that the way they take care of their hostesses, when look at they look like air hostesses. So I feel like, ah, ah, how does she really do this? And I was like, Vanessa, we must do something so that you can encourage other wives. How do they do it? So Vanessa, you're welcome to Kim Mother's Chamber. Thank you. Mr. Please, can you introduce yourself to my royals? Okay, I'm um, Guna Vanessa Epos Etumbi. I'm the finance and operations manager of Local Youth Corner Cameroon and I've been working with Local Youth Corner Cameroon for over seven years now. This your project is a six month project. Mm -hmm. If you have to implement it, you get a project officer. Someone that is going to be doing the reporting, someone that will do wow. it. Wow, so you are a wife, you are a mother, a career woman, yes. and of course you are dedicated to church yes of course because i see you in church i see you doing not only going to church but i see you going for services i see you doing other things at church you're right, you're right so you are not just being a wife and staying at home so i want to find out from you vanessa what do you think about a wife having a career okay miss nzikum thank you very much for this privilege and i really do appreciate first what i think about wives we're talking about not just women but we're talking about wives having careers first and foremost I think it's very important for every woman for every wife to have something to do because firstly the notion nowadays is young ladies think marriage is an escape or marriage is a source of income I would like us to understand that marriage is not an escape and marriage is also not a source of income no one wants to be a slave you are not getting married because you want to make someone's child become a slave the reason why you should have a career is because it's important as a woman to be independent despite having a man that has finances that just the fact that you are able to afford a little thing or something that you need is is you are contented but the moment you have to get to your husband at every point in time for any, for a, as little as for instance maggie for 50 francs you want your husband to be able to support in that at one point in time you are not just bothering the man but uh, you are a burden to yourself as well you will never be self-contented you meet other friends out there and most of the times it's true some women will say okay their husbands are saying that they should not work i always say there is no way your husband will ask you not to work but in a case where it happens you should be able to convince your man you should be able to convince him i think god has given us that power as women that we should be able to convince our man you should be able to speak to your husband and see reasons let him see reasons why you're supposed to do something and also the reasons why some men refuse that their women should do some to do a job or to go out and work is because they're unable to balance the the work and the church and and studies for instance and children they are unable to do the balancing 
For instance, I'll take for my own case. How do I do this? I'm a wife, I do work, and I occupy a position in church, and I have a son to take care of. It's true there are days I'm unable to meet up with, let me say, providing food for my husband. But I ensure while I'm at work, they, even if I'm not the one to ensure that the food is there, there's someone that I put in charge that please ensure that this food should be ready. So I make sure that there's something to eat when we return back home. I make sure if it's time for the family, I will not give that time to, to work, for instance. If it's weekend, if weekend is meant for you to be, to be with your family, and then you have to spend that time with your family. Yeah. You should not have that time to spend with two hours to spend with your, with your family and you find yourself going to take your laptop and you are instead working. So there should be that balance between work, the family and everything. Your husband should not feel lonely. Your husband should not feel like your work is overtaking your time. There is time for work. And when it's time, to dedicate your time and you work well. But when it's time for you to be with your family, ensure you do that as well. I occupy a position in church. I'm the head of hostesses for over two to three years now. And there is no way uh, because of my home or because of me being too occupied at work, I will forget that fact that I need to dedicate my time to God. Remember, God is the one that holds that home. If God decides today that that marriage that you're holding so tight, is go you guys are going to part way. And then so is that going to happen. So despite everything, God comes first. I don't take it for granted. When it's time for church, when it's time for service, I don't joke. I render my 100% to God. I render the time, the little time I have to offer, the little time I have to render service in the house of God, I don't waste time. I ensure I give my total, I give my all. By doing so, I will have little or no troubles at work and I'm able to cater for my son and my husband is comfortable and as well, I'm rendering service in the house of God and that's how I've been able to balance all these things for over two years that I've been married. Wow, Vanessa, you have really touched so many aspects. And I love the first point you made. You said that marriage is not an escape road for to poverty. Because a lot of women feel like they'll just sit back there, do nothing, and they'll look for Prince Charming, who has a castle somewhere, who's just going to get married to them, and they are going to be rich overnight, and they don't have to do anything about it. I love when you also said that you are able to balance between home, uh, marriage, family, career, and church because one should not be suffering too much you should be able to know how to balance it and i love how you said god is overall so the holy spirit actually can help you to be able to to balance all spheres of your marriage because obviously he said that he's going to teach you in all things so you can ask the holy spirit how can i be able to manage between my home being a, a, a wonderful wife and still being a good employee or a good boss and better still being a good child of god and also vanessa i want you to tell me since you're talking about being balanced since you're talking about marriage not an escape road what can you tell to single ladies out there who are feeling like They'll do nothing, they'll just stay in their father's house and they're waiting for someone to get married because some people feel like their, their lives actually begin when they get married. There is a myth out there. And of course, not everybody will get married. So what if you don't get married? So what can you tell what can you tell these young ladies who are just waiting for marriage for their life to begin? Okay, thank you very much, Miss Diko. And if there's one thing I would like to advise every single lady out there, anyone that has not yet gotten married. One thing I remember two years ago before I got married, you know, I was, uh, when, you are, when, you are, when you are getting to 23 nowadays, you are so excited. Yeah. Any man that is coming close to you, you are just like, you are looking at marriage. And I remember going to, to, to attend a conference with my mom, Reverend Eleno, and she was like, I hope you are not thinking marriage. At that point, I just left from the university. I, that was level two. I just had my HNZ and I was already thinking marriage at that time because <laughs> most of the, my, my classmates were already married and in my mind I was just like, I want to get married. Mm -hmm. And she turns and she, she said, don't even think of marriage. First, what you should do is ensure you get something to do. And she kept on. Though I was pushing for, I was like, no, mommy, what we should do is, I think I should get married. Why in a man's house? I'm going to get a job. Yeah. She made me to understand that don't go and be a liability in any man's house. Yeah. Men respect women who do something. So as a single lady, it's important that you get your purpose. Why were you brought into this world? Everyone has a purpose in life. What is the reason? You should be able to identify yourself. 
identify the reason why God brought you into this world. Because until you identify yourself, then you'll be able to fulfill it. And when you identify yourself, you start working towards attaining that particular purpose. You must not wait for a man. There are some women nowadays that just because they got married to a wrong man without identifying themselves, they have been crushed down or they might never ever achieve that purpose again. So it's important to know yourself, know your vision. Who are you? Start working towards it. There are little things. Nowadays I see young ladies, they are rushing over men. The moment you get that thing to do, the moment you identify yourself, men will start rushing you. The moment you know who you are, you get that confidence and you begin working towards it. You start something. It's important to get as little, no matter how little the thing is, but it's important as a woman, as a single lady out there to start doing something. Own something before you get anyone in your life. Ensure you identify, know yourself, discover yourself before you get that Mr. Right in your life. And when you get him, obviously, he will help you. That's why it's important to get married to the right person. He will help you and you guys will move towards the right path and you'll get to where God actually planned for you guys to reach. Ha! This lady will not kill me today. <laughs> so my Rory is actually an amazing ride with Mrs. Etumbi. You can just imagine what she has been pouring just in a few seconds. So as you can see, we are taking fresh air today. Today we just decided to just change the atmosphere so that you yourself, you are going to feel fresh and you are going to, we are also going to have inspiration. So I think that maybe that's even why she has a lot of inspiration to be dishing out these things, you know, to us hot and hot. And please, when coming in, let me just tell you a story. When I was coming for this conference today, I saw a coffin that there were people were going to, I think they are going to the southwest region. So I saw the man, the man is a young man. So in my mind, I was visualizing, I was saying, probably this man is married. So now I'm thinking about his widow. Just imagine that she's doing nothing because we have found a lot of women who after their husband passed away, we are not praying that she become a widow. And it can also be for the man because there are also some men that they don't work because their wife is earning a lot. They say that they will stay doing nothing. But just imagine that that man is no more, you know. Can you sustain the family? Can you pay the bills? Can you take care of your children? If your in-laws, God forbid, takes everything from you, are you having something that you can pay your children's school fees? You can do all sorts of things. So now, for in, in a case scenario where this lady will tell you that my husband has money, my husband has everything, he caters and he provides for everything. So I don't need to work, I don't need to do anything. What can you tell this particular woman? One thing I always tell such women when they come up with such stories and everything, I will tell you, most of the time you work because of the self-satisfaction despite you meeting that man he has his own purpose and everything but as i said you have your own purpose that is why it's important to discover yourself the man meets you when you have discovered yourself and you're working towards that domain it will be difficult for him to quench it it's different from now he met you doing nothing obviously he will see you you have no intention of actually doing anything so you will sit home but remind yourself that is what is going to lead to depression. Before you know it, you will get depressed because you start asking yourself, that. where is the man? Why is he coming back late? Remember, more money, more troubles. You start asking, one day you just see him bringing in another. And before you know, you said you are not industrious enough. Nowadays, I've seen a lot of marriages. The man will be like, the woman is not industrious and everything. Every man wants an industrious woman. A woman that is helpful. Being a helpmate does not just mean bedmate or whatever, but helpmate means you are assisting even in running of the home. You both makes the home. The home is not made by one person. The bills are not to be paid by just one person. You both come together and you ensure the home is running effectively. Thank you. So as you are a helpmate, actually, it means you can also help financially because there are people that their husband take care of everything. Every person needs that person that can help, even if it's in a little way, even if he does not need money. At least you can have money to buy something and give him. Do you know that some people who have never gifted their husbands anything? No, that's terrible. Because they feel like yeah. the man has everything. You know, even if you don't give something to him, can you actually have money that you can buy something for your kids? Can you have money that you can buy something and add in the house? There's some women that once they got married, till now nothing has changed in their house. Like they have not bought any furniture. 
nothing but it's a woman that beautifies a home yeah. even if you came and made the house already beautiful at least have money that you can buy one or two things even in a flower Mm? Yeah. that you can put in the home let's be that at least you contributed because everybody likes an asset yeah. it, he might not say it he might not say that what you're doing is wonderful and everything but it Between marks him, him. Yeah. yes he do not just take it for granted so maria if you are joining us just now we are still with mrs etumbi so i want to ask you what are some of the positive aspects of a wife working of a wife having a a career and also tell us about the negative side so that probably when we are speaking people are also visualizing okay thank you very much one thing i will say that is really vital and i think it's a positive aspect for a woman having a job for instance myself having a job first i'm so contented and also i'm able to support my husband i'm able to support in the running of our home and also i'm able to provide for my kids Knowing that I'm, I have some, even if it's as small, the finances might not be so much, but the little that I'm able to add in making my home, my home run is what gets me running. It, yeah. it's, it gives me that joy. The fact that a woman works, there's first of all an internal joy that you're able to provide for yourself. Mm -hmm. Because it's about starting to provide. Be, every woman has needs she needs to meet. So if you're able to meet your needs, then obviously you are contented. And another negative aspect for a woman that is not working, that has nothing to do, so they easily go into depression and they knock a lot. If you see a percentage of women that have issues <laughs> in their homes are women that sit home doing nothing. Yeah. They tend to disturb themselves a lot. They start asking themselves, when a man comes back late, it's an issue. He comes back too early, it's an issue. He comes back with his shirt open, it's an issue. So you question a lot of things. That's because you are not busy. You are not an if you get man yes, is a an workshop. Because if you have something to do, you'll be really difficult. Yeah. You get to work and everything. You, you are busy. He is busy. So it will be difficult for you to question some things. It's important to question, but there's little things that people question that it gets me worried sometimes. So it's important. I encourage every woman out there to actually work. It's very important for your health and your well-being. In order not to die untimely dead. Because if you, are, if you have to follow a man at every point in time, where is he at this time and everything, I assure you, you just cut your life short. So it's important to get something to do. Get yourself busy. Thank you very much. Wow, thank you very much, Vanessa. And actually, another thing that it gives you is an identity. Yeah. Because imagine they remove Mrs. from your name. Who are you? Because some people, they just know them by being Mrs. Etumbi. Mm -hmm. But apart from that, we know that you are a professional at your work. You are a financial professional. And also, you are something in your church. And also, you are a business lady. I never say that because you also do business. Yeah. Because some people feel like when we're talking about career or, or working in your purpose, is that you just have one big thing, one organization. It's even the little things you do. Mm -hmm. Even if you are doing foliary, even if you are doing your purpose, at least it is adding you joy and see once you go out, or even you're not even going out, once you are busy doing something, as she said, there are a lot of things that will never cross through because you never have the time to do it. Because imagine that you already have your schedule, you have to do work, you have to arrange your home, you have to arrange your kids. After that, you are while your kids are in school, you are doing one or two. Even if you are at home, stay at home, moms. Even if you are doing a research online, you are doing, you are being busy. You're not thinking whether ah, my husband is not yet back. Yeah. What can he be doing at this hour? Ah, why is all those unnecessary things are not really relevant. And also, Vanessa, talk about old age because there are some people that once they go on retirement, they burden to their children. Yeah. So how can you work in and having finances help you in your old age? So that's why you will see the government has brought something of CMPs and everything. Why you're working is important to plan ahead of time. Don't be a burden to your children. Plan ahead. There is going to be that time that you are unable to work. So you have to start saving against those odd times. The moment you will not be able to work, you can always fall back to the savings you have made. Yeah. Your children, yes, you are counting on your kids and everything, but what if they fail you? Yeah. Because that's another thing. You might have kids, but before you know, God forbid, they die before you even realize it. What happens to you? So it's important as a person working, you should not eat all your money. You should not be walking and before you know, you say you want to drink one man, two man and everything. While you are walking, ensure why eating a little, save a little. Yeah. For those days that you can no longer walk. For those days that your bones are weak yeah. and you can no longer stand on your own. It's important to ensure that there's a place of savings. Thank you. 
Ah, uh, you really spoke like a financial professional because right now she was in her domain. That is why she could actually pour and pour. <laughs> Our financial guru. We don't joke with her because uh, you better say your money go shake. <laughs> so yes, Vanessa. Um, I believe that in this space of career, you have done. You have had a lot of connections. You know because people don't. They might not know that being in a career or doing something can actually bring or link you up to some destiny helpers mm -hmm. because i believe that in this path that you have been walking through you have had some people that could even help you or yeah. even help your spouse because then you might know some people that your spouse does not know yeah for sure. and you connect them and they help him in one aspect or another it might not mm -hmm. be something big they say that the value of, of of relationship might even be more than the value of money because there are some things that you might not use your personal money to you know to get the things but the relationship you have have are going to help you so i want you to speak about this aspect how has this career of a thing help your connections or your relations with other people and how they how they've also helped your home or your personal life yeah for sure as you said relationship is very important i remember back then in 2017 i was just a young girl that joined an organization at that point, you know, when you just leave from school, you barely know nothing, you barely know anyone, you just want to start from where you are and everything. Mm -hmm. And now, while being in the organization, you get to meet a lot of people, you have partners, you go for meetings and everything, it's important to be open as a young person. Don't just say because someone greets you or a man greets you, you start thinking that, no, he wants to chat me or he wants to sleep with me and everything. It's important yeah. to be open. Because that's where you, most people miss their opportunities. Someone really wants to help you. He wants to open doors for you and everything. In my career, I've been able to meet a lot of persons, a lot of people that helped me to shape my career from being an assistant. I had to move up from one level to another. It's based on how you relate with others, how you relate with people. Starting from your colleagues, even the way you relate with them is very important. They might not be your blood sisters, blood brothers, but that from that relationship it can lead to another thing so it's important to always be nice to people be nice be open to people be good to people those you meet because you never know where your destiny helpers are yeah. a lot of people do pray about destiny helpers and everything god is not going to come down from heaven and identify that this is your destiny helper you need to move up forward to the person yeah. it could be that person that you are, you are sitting with every day and minimizing mm -hmm. and that's how you have missed out the chance and the, once you miss it, it will be difficult for it to come again. And you barely know that you have missed it. And every day it becomes a prayer point. You are, you are disturbing God. You are burdening Him every day you are praying. And God is just there looking at you and smiling that if only you know that that person you minimize, that cleaner you look down on. Yeah. No matter who the person, even if it's a cleaner, yeah. it's important to respect everyone. Be nice to people. It really helps. It counts. It's very important. Thank you guys very much. Well, thank you very much, Vanessa. And you know, the word of us says that we should train a child the way he should go. And when the child grows up, the child will not depart from it. So now when you talk about motherhood, because uh, you know that when your child sees you having a career, the child is also, you know, able to yeah. know that I have to work, I have to do something. And if you have a female child, the female child knows that, hmm, my mother is working, it means that I also have to work. Yeah. So what the child sees is what, they, because there's some people that they go into marriage and they have this mentality they took from their parents, mm -hmm. you know, but I just pray that if you're in that case, you should break free from generational patterns. Yeah. So now I want you to tell us how uh, is motherhood, you know, playing a role in this? Because what is the example you want your son to have? And if tomorrow you also have a daughter, what is the example that you want her so she will not be a liability in a man's life? What is that example you want her to take or him? Yeah, for sure. My son, I ensure on a daily basis, no matter how small, there are some actions I do that some people will come in, he's just a year old, but there are some things I do, I'm preparing him against yeah. the future. He's, he can be very young, but it's important I start now yes. to uh, ensure that I groom him up to the boy or the man I, I want to see. If I'm able to become a career woman today, if I'm able to, to, to embrace career, it's because I saw my parents, I saw my mother, she does not joke when it comes to work. I grew up seeing my parents ensuring that they put their career on the first time base. My parents will not joke when it comes to her job and everything. From that, I realized that it's important. And that's how they started grooming me to see the importance that as a woman, you should be able to have a career. And that's why I can replicate it today. And that's the same thing I'm doing with my son. The same thing my parents did by grooming me up, 
ensuring they expose me to the different careers and everything by grooming me to ensure that I get a good career. I'm, and that's the same thing I'm crossing over to my son. I'm ensuring that he should be a great man tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow, if he gets married, he should be able to provide for his family. He should not be lazy. Yeah. He should not sit at the age of 35 and I'm still cooking for him. Or I'm still renting a house for my, like what I see in Cameroon when you, a, 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 boy, a boy of 35 years is still in the mother's house and the mother is feeding him, it's just to promote laziness. I will not want that to happen. So you start by grooming the child as early as possible. You don't wait for the child to become 15, 20 years and above, but you start as young as from one year old, you can start grooming your son to be responsible. Yeah, yeah thank you very much. Wow, <sighs> thank you so much. Like, what did you say? <laughs> So I want to, someone is listening to you out there, a wife is listening to you or a young lady is listening to you and the person is already in this space where she has not been doing anything, like nothing and she doesn't know how to start, what to do. What can you actually advise? Because some people might want to work, some people yeah. might, and they will still know that there are no opportunities, there's nothing I can do mm -hmm. I can, because I'm just used to being at home, I'm just used to taking care of my children and taking care of your children and being at home is wonderful, don't get us wrong, okay? So we're not saying that being a housewife yeah. Is, is not good but we want you to know that you are more than that we want you to know that god caught you as an individual before calling you as a wife yeah. so now you need to fulfill purpose as an individual to you to be to be satisfied as a wife because there are many people who are there in depression because they are not doing what is fulfilling them does it mean that their home is not fulfilling them it's fulfilling them yeah. but there is something in you that the lord has put that you need to do if it's that it is being just a mother or just a wife which is you and God who knows if actually is what he has called you to be, then fine. But we're talking about a lady here whom that is not all that the Lord because you are a multitude of everything. And the Lord says that he's going to bless the works of your hands. He says that, see, money answer right many things because there are a lot of homes that are suffering because of money. Because if you give them money, a lot of their issues are going to reduce. And that's because their husband is the only financial guru of the house. The wife does not have anything to contribute. So it means that if, his, if the salary is delayed for a while, there is nothing. We cannot pay rent. If the salary is delayed for a while, the child's school fees cannot be paid. Food cannot be paid. That's some, that's some more that maybe if your husband gives you money, you might not complain that it is small. Why? Because you, you act from behind. When the money he has given you is finished, you add from behind. But once you say that, no, only him has to provide you. Come and keep asking and asking. But now we are not supporting lazy men, okay? We are not supporting lazy men. What we are saying is that we want you to be fulfilled as a wife. So now, a wife will sing to you out there. I want you to give a last word to this wife. What can she do? Okay, Miss Dikuma, I think there are a lot of businesses nowadays. I remember before I started working for the NGO, what I used to do is I said jewelries. You go to bigger market where you could get, we are, we are small as 10,000 to 20,000 francs. You can get jewelries and you start selling. Also, you can sell shoes, they are clothes. Now you don't need to have money to be able, or finances to be able to sell clothes online. Mm -hmm. All you need to do is get a phone and an internet. Instead of getting that internet and gossiping from one place to another, yeah. it's, it will be preferable you use it to make money. Mm -hmm. You can get your, your gadgets and you start posting clothes and why, when they get to you, you are able to get it from somewhere and that's how you start making money. So from home, why taking care of your kids you can actually make money mm -hmm. so you must not step out we're talking about you being able to lay your hands on something you should be able to do something you can go into production of soap and everything liquid soap liquid detergents and everything you can go into all those yeah, things fully, and it's going to the there are a lot of things in order to start this perform kind of business it does not require a lot of money yeah. and you should be you should be able to do that to be able to sustain yourself and I think that will really make you happy if you have something doing and can make provision for little things as minute things in your home. It's going to be really encouraging for yourself as, as well as your husband. Thank you. Well, Maria, you are made for more. You are made for more. The Lord has called you not only as a wife, he has called you to be professional in every sphere of life, be it in your professional life, be it at church. One other day, we're going to talk about being good at church, okay? We're going to talk about being good, we are social. We need to touch social life today because that's a women who are dying of depression yeah. because they just need that another space, another place to just take air, to just, you know, just relax. 
don't talk about family don't talk about home don't talk about like you just relax with some people where you are just discussing and you just forget the children shouting even if it's just for one hour you forget the children shouting in your ears you saying that stop doing this you saying that ah, ah, what do i have to cook you need that at times to relax a bit and so that you're going to you know feel at home you're going to feel revitalized to be able to come back and be that perfect wife be that perfect employee so this is what we want to tell you today we want you to be a balanced wife all round Ah, it has been a wonderful ride, Maroya. Like, I am super happy to have you, Vanessa. Thank you. Thank like, you have given us a lot. And, of course, by God's grace, we are still going to be here on the show. I hope that you are going to love to see her. So, please, in the comment section, I want us to tell us, what do you think about this topic? What do you think women can do? Not only wives. What do you think women can do to better their lives, to better their career, to have something doing and, and have money in their pocket? Because we want women to have, even if it's something little, so that you will not be at the beck of call of any person. There are some people that are doing odd things, not because they want it, because they don't have money. Mm -hmm. But if you are doing something, there are some noises that you will not even entertain. Why you never have the time to have to do that? Yeah. So, of course, we are so elated to have you on our channel today. Thank you. So, please tell my royals to subscribe. <laughs> please subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> so, please, if you are not yet subscribed to now, please join this family by subscribing. Of course, give a thumbs up, give a like, and please share this video because I know that somebody in your contact will want this video we need this we need that person that has been sleeping to arise and shine for the light of the lord has come you are made for more my royal my wife you are made for more one other time we're talking about husband so husband don't think that we're not speaking to you too we'll also speak to you all right when we have a man figure or a male figure we are going to bring him he will speak on everything man on everything husband so today we're tackling our gender so it has been a wonderful ride thank you very much i love you love you love you until the next time to the next episode of this wonderful show with queen mother stay blessed and may god bless you bye bye